the nonsense. It's not like just not doing anything, right? Yeah. Sometimes people can think it's safe, mm. just awareness, so I'm just going to be. And yeah. Just stay and, and then you can make an excuse for their action. Absolutely. This is awareness. Yeah, exactly. This is exactly right. So she, she's just saying that basically people can start to make an excuse as awareness or do nothing or become lazy or whatever. That's not seeing awareness. When, when you, when, even though you can never not see it, right? So this is what I meant by the great, the, the great uh, pictures mitt. It always catches. Even if you don't see it, it catches. So even if you do become like, oh, I'm awareness, that means I must talk a certain way. But one of the things you see if you watch satsangs on YouTube Sometimes, not always, and I'm, I'm not criticizing anybody, but sometimes there is a, a tendency for people to start to speak really slowly. So they go, which is nice. Hello. Welcome. To satsang. And, and it's great because it, evo it evokes the spaciousness between moments. When I leave pauses. So you really feel it, right? But it would be nice if they added that even if someone speaks really, really quickly, it's still awareness. It doesn't matter how fast someone talks, there's always awareness. It never goes away from awareness. However you feel right now when I'm speaking quickly, it's awareness. Whatever's going, it's awareness. Because then it becomes real. Because often you leave, you leave the meditation satsang class, especially if you're in, in, in something like India, and you come out and you're in like a Delhi street. And it's like... <laughs> it's just like, oh, now that's not awareness. I want to go back to the slow speaking guy. So I'm just saying it's, it's always there. It's always there. If, you're, if you was in the middle of, of a marching band, it's still completely still and quiet as awareness. 